Hello students, welcome to CA practical class. Now we will do practicals of embedded or internal style sheet. There are two names, we can call it embedded or you can also call it internal styles. So it is placed in style tag, okay. There is a style tag which is placed inside the head section, okay. Head section closed here. And then body tag starts. So, it, will, it is placed, the CSS is placed inside the style tag and the style tag is placed inside the head section. So, this is internal style sheet. Now, what happens? It is applicable to entire web page. When we are putting this CSS in a single web page inside head section, then all H1 tags of this page, there can be hundreds of H1 tags of the page is lengthy. So, this CSS will apply to all H1 tags present in this page and all paragraphs in this page will be of blue color. Got it? Headings in red color with font family Arial. Paragraphs in blue color. So now students, this is the example for embedded CSS or it is also known as internal CSS. So let's see how to solve this. For that you have to click on start button, click on notepad then after that, you type the code HTML head title Here title I will write in title case so that you can see the difference that which is exactly the title and which is the heading title closed after that we have to add the style tag as it is embedded CSS in type we have to write text slash C S S body H1 H1 the content is uh, content I have already prepared so I will simply copy paste the content body closed HTML closed save it to write hockey dot html first of all copy the content in paragraph copy the paragraph and we will separate it with the break br tag let's see the output of it it is here so this much is prepared we have to insert the image insert image img src and double quotes right hockey this was the picture name here there is the picture this one you can see h is capital over here so same way we have to write dot jpg So the code is complete almost. Now we have to put the CSS. Okay. So CSS is always there in the head section. You can see here there is a head section. We have to close head section also. So here in style tag we will write the CSS and whatever CSS we will write it will be applied to whole page. Now body first of all. Body write background color here it is gray so I am writing gray over here let's see the output gray then after that h1 should be in maroon and in the center so h1 color maroon 
and text align center let's see the difference okay next image we want to float on the left side so img and we will write float left curly bracket closed let's see the output the image is floating on the left side now this is a paragraph paragraph blue so p curly brackets then paragraph color blue so refresh here this is in embedded css it is also known as internal css the css is written inside the style tag inside the head section now if we we'll write few more h1 tags okay like here i am also adding a heading then you can see there are two h1s this and this there is no designing over here but in embedded css i have written a design the same design will be applied here also so let's see the output okay like this now here i am also adding a paragraph so that you can see the css applies for paragraphs also so this is it you can see two headings two paragraphs here also two headings and two paragraphs and the same css is applied on whole page let's remove the change so this practical is over so students only this much for today thank you have a nice day